Ensure a safe takeoff and landing with four-flight runway analysis, an advanced runway and obstacle analysis capability for jet aircraft that's seamlessly integrated with ForeFlight's existing planning workflows. Built around AFM performance data and complete with engine out procedures and a detailed summary document, ForeFlight Runway Analysis provides a fast, easy, and thoroughly reliable solution for flight departments and owner operators of jet aircraft everywhere. Runway Analysis is available as a paid add on to ForeFlight Performance subscription plans. Visit ForeFlight.com slash RWA for details on supported aircraft, pricing, and how to purchase. Configuring your aircraft profiles to use runway analysis only takes a minute. Select the aircraft you've purchased runway analysis for in More Aircraft and confirm that the proper type and model is selected. A second line of blue text indicates which models are supported for runway analysis. Tap back to find two new fields available under the Performance section. Confirm that the proper model variant for your aircraft is selected in Runway Profile. The Field Performance submenu lets you set the default aircraft configuration settings for both takeoff and landing analysis, which you can also change on a per-flight basis. The Obstacle Corridor setting sets the flight pad's Obstacle Accountability Corridor to use either the FAA specification from AC120-91A or the slightly wider corridor defined by ICAO requirements. The default landing factor setting is also available from this page. We'll take a closer look at landing factor later on. Runway analysis is fully integrated with ForeFlight's flight planning workflow, leveraging route, fuel, and weight details from the flight plan to expedite the analysis then using the results to recursively update fuel and weight allowances, delivering a highly optimized result with minimal time and effort. With these initial flight plan details set, tap the Takeoff button in the Departure Airport field to enter the Takeoff Analysis page. Tap the Runway field to view available runways with surface details and wind components, and tap a runway to select it. ForeFlight immediately runs the analysis and displays the major results at the top of the page, including the max takeoff weight and its limiting constraint. Any changes you make on this page or the main flight plan that affects the analysis will update these numbers. The Runway section provides additional fields for defining surface condition and other variables. At the heart of ForeFlight Runway Analysis is the complex obstacle analysis, which by default incorporates terrain and obstacles into its max takeoff weight calculations to guarantee clearance. Although we advise leaving this capability enabled when planning any flight, it is possible to disable the analysis for rare circumstances that may not require terrain and obstacle considerations. Tap the Engine Out Procedure field to select which procedure ForeFlight will use in its obstacle analysis. Most runways have at least a straight out option that ForeFlight uses as the default. But more complex procedures that maximize your takeoff weight are available at many airports. These include RNAV procedures under active development by the ForeFlight team, as well as older VOR based procedures published by Jeppesen. The text for each procedure is displayed below, as well as at the bottom of the Takeoff Analysis page. The obstacle and engine out procedure data used by the obstacle analysis are both contained in a download that is automatically enabled after you purchase Runway Analysis, and will be updated with new procedures as they become available. ForeFlight also allows you to manually define additional departure obstacles in response to temporary obstacle notums or other reasons by specifying each one's distance and height relative to the departure end of the runway. ForeFlight incorporates these custom obstacles into its analysis in combination with the selected engine out procedure. Swipe to delete custom obstacles after adding them. The Weather section automatically loads current or forecast conditions based on METARs, 
TAFs, MOSS forecasts, or ForeFlight's global daily weather forecasts, in that order of preference. Tap on any field to test the impact of alternate conditions on the analysis, and tap Refresh to load the latest information. You can also test different scenarios using hypothetical takeoff weights in the Aircraft Configuration section, but these changes are not saved when you leave the page, since ForeFlight calculates takeoff weight using the payload and fuel details on the main flights view. Moving past the other aircraft configuration settings we saw during aircraft setup, the Emergency Return field opens a landing analysis page where you can assess return to base scenarios for different runways. This page is essentially identical to the primary landing analysis view we'll see in a bit, with the exception that overweight warnings displayed here are not escalated to the main flights view, since return to base landings are often expected to be overweight. The full set of takeoff analysis results is available in the Performance section, and the Reset button at the very bottom of the page will deselect the current runway and return all other fields to their default states. The Takeoff Analysis page provides a number of warnings and errors that appear as yellow or red banners at the top of the page. If your max takeoff weight is constrained by some variable, such as runway length, the presence of an obstacle, minimum required climb capability, or brake energy limits, ForeFlight displays a warning with the reduced weight limit. If you selected the maximum fuel policy on the main flights view, tapping back will prompt ForeFlight to automatically reduce the planned start fuel to the lower limit calculated by the takeoff analysis. Otherwise, you must manually reduce the fuel quantity or payload weights to the constrained value. Errors on the takeoff analysis page indicate that takeoff is impossible at any weight due to one or more factors such as runway length, tailwind components, or an obstacle that would force the flight to exceed the aircraft's structural limits. The landing analysis page is shorter and simpler than takeoff, with the key distinction being the landing factor field. ForeFlight multiplies this value by the calculated landing distance to produce the factor distance, and provides a set of commonly used factors corresponding to 60 or 80% of usable runway requirements. Select the Custom option to manually enter a landing factor. Lastly, tap the Summary button in the top right corner of either Runway Analysis page to generate a PDF with a detailed breakdown of the results. The Takeoff and Landing Summaries at the top detail your selected inputs, aircraft configurations, runway, and results, as well as your selected engine out procedure. The Takeoff and Landing Analysis sections below this compare results under different scenarios, helping you quickly determine the impact a different runway assignment or weather conditions could have on your takeoff and landing weight limits. Tap the Send To button in the top right to print or share the PDF with another app, and tap Save to Flights Files to automatically attach the file to the flight, allowing you to access it at any time from the Files menu. ForeFlight Runway Analysis is the fast, flexible, and fully integrated runway and obstacle analysis solution that will help you ensure a safe takeoff and landing with minimal effort. We're working closely with major OEMs to enable support for the most widely flown turbine aircraft in business and general aviation. So stay tuned for updates and visit ForeFlight.com rwa to learn more. <laughs>